Today is chicken coop building day. I found a chicken coop on Etsy and bought the plans and it has all the materials you need. You can modify it if you want to. This is the chicken coop I'm gonna try. Me and Philip are gonna try to build. It's a five by four. This, I found this on Etsy, Morgan Creek plans. Okay, so we're working on the floor first. We've already cut like the two by fours um, and then the, the standing post, four by four post. And um, this is gonna be the base. It's, all right, so here's the floor. We flipped it over and we're about to put the plywood on top of it. So tonight I'm doing the roost and bars in the chicken coop. In the plans it says to fasten the roost and bars into the suds, <laughs> into the studs on the le on the rear and front wall. I was thinking I was gonna get up in this coop and walk in it, but I'm not, I'm six foot tall. And I think standing room in here is five feet. But if I have to get into the coop, it is possible. So I'm going to make my roosting bars light the plans as far as the direction they go and the height, but I'm going to make them so that they are removable. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so here we are from the side. Um, this is a roosting bar here. Kind of blurry. Let's see if we can get in on that. I'm going to basically just give them some support so they don't go back and forth as the chickens jump up on the roosting bar. And then that way, all I can do is just pick them up and I can take them out Now I've got my braces in place. So now I'm able to remove the roosting bar anytime I need to. I just used scraps from all the stuff I've used and been cutting. I've saved a box of scraps. I had these um, from when I cut some angles on some wood. I didn't get it too tight on this side. This one's a bit higher and I gotta get this one in place next. What's everybody chirping about? Yeah, getting your house ready. Hey. All right, so we got the nesting box lid built and I just stuck it in here just to see how it would fit. It's not fastened or anything, but this is what it's gonna look like. This is gonna fit just like that and it'll come flush up with this siding. I can't pick it up one handed, but this will be here like this. Okay, so today's update is I'm starting to paint the siding that um, is going to go around the outside of the frame. Um, we have a storm coming today, so I can't go outside and paint, so we're just going to do what we can inside. This is the paint I'm using. Um, we've used this outside on our fence, and we love it. We use it in black out there. So I went back to Home Depot and got this same kind. It's a solid color. I just kept it white, waterproof, stain, and sealer. Gonna let these pieces dry, give them a second coat, um, and they should be good to go. Here's my chicken ramp. I went ahead and cut it and pieced it together, screwed the uh, pieces all together. Well, I shouldn't have done that. So if you make one, I would definitely paint or seal them or whatever all the way around on all edges. That way it's protected because this will be exposed to the weather. So I'm gonna take this apart and paint it and um, Hopefully it will go back together all in one piece with no problems. <laughs> okay, so I've got two coats, maybe about three coats really, on the chicken run um, ramp and I've put it back together.
Today is moving day. So we're gonna move the frame of the chicken coop house. We're gonna take all the siding, all the trim work, everything out to the spot um, in the center of our property. And we're gonna take all the tools we need and we're gonna put it all together. This is pretty heavy, so that's why we're not gonna attach it in here because we literally are gonna have to pick up the frame of the chicken coop, put it on the trailer, take it out there, and then we'll haul everything else out there. Okay, so we got it in the trailer. We couldn't get the whole thing on film because we're a two-man crew. And it took both of us to lift this up. These are gonna be for the four, four by four posts. We're gonna um, just try to protect those as much as we can from just getting wet and soggy from the ground. So we're gonna actually put them on these and level it out. Good morning! So last night we were able to put up the side paneling and the um, tin roof. We just got to put on the um, tin roof ridge cap uh, and then put up the black fascia boards and um, trim. It was late last night. I forgot to get the camera on and start filming. So um, I just wanted to be able to do a quick update before we do the next step. I honestly haven't filmed a whole heck of a lot because we've been trying to get in as much work as we can and we've been frustrated and I have just haven't had time to get the camera out let's just face it all right so every day after work we load up this trailer bring everything out here we set up the generator over there because it's super loud and we hook everything up so we can have power tools out here to cut boards and all that good stuff so yeah this is our outdoor workshop okay so our update is that we've established a nesting box lid we had to uh work on that one it was a little tricky but we finally got it had a help of a friend and my awesome husband so we finally got the nesting box lid the reason why i have it propped open right now with a piece of wood is because i had to paint some trim up under there and i didn't want it to touch because it's wet so i'm currently working on trim pieces all of the black trim um, I'm out here painting some more pieces. I got to cut it. We got the tin roof established with the uh, ridge cap on the top. All right, we got the door up. I still have to do some more trim here. It's just decorative trim, but I want it, so I'm going to do it. Uh, we put up a gate lock up here. We got us a handle. Got a, uh, another lock down here. Um, still have some tools in there. squeak okay we've never done um a ridge cap a metal ridge cap before but uh so we did that on this coop and on the edges on the outside we weren't sure how to secure it so it wasn't flapping um so we got some short half inch bolts with lock nuts and philip secured those at the top all right so this is what it looks like that way if these two pieces aren't flapping in the wind. Um, seems to be working great. He's got those secured down and uh, only took four of those, two on each end. All right, the back side, I've got two vents installed. Um, this coop faces the west, all right? So we get a lot of wind and rain and everything from the west. So we made this side face that direction. Hopefully it should get some good airflow through here. Ventilation. Um, I'm gonna put some hardware cloth on the inside, so. All right, so I gotta get back to painting. We'll come back with another update maybe later today or tomorrow and later this week, who knows?
we have an update we got the 4x4 post in um, for the chicken run it's gonna be narrow but narrow it's gonna be narrow it's gonna be narrow but it's gonna be about 16 feet long um, I just was trying to do something super simple um, something easy just straight out whatever um, it's probably gonna be just tall enough for me to walk into when we're done um, and it's just gonna have a slight slant we're getting so close I'm getting so excited the emotions are getting a little bit better i'm ready for this to be done i'm not gonna lie if you don't have four by four post levelers you should definitely invest in those they're super cheap i got these at lowe's for five bucks i have seen a pack at harbor freight that has a leveler and a square um and i think that's like three something or four four dollars three dollars and that's at harbor freight these are awesome definitely gonna be a skinny run not a fat run which is gonna suck because i don't have a bunch of fat girls running in here Coop update. Um, so the run is in. We're starting the mesh. Got the door built. Put a door on the end. I've got to add some locks. We added tin roof on the top to match the tin roof on the coop. And today I've got to put some hardware cloth all up and down, all around the bottom on the ground, all around the base of the coop. Do all that. No more ammo. Okay, we're using a pneumatic stapler. It's just a Campbell Hosfield. It works wonders. I think this is an 18 gauge. I'm using um, 18 gauge one and one eighth length staples. They're longer. That way they get good and deep in the wood. I don't want to trust, I didn't trust the shorter staples. So we're using these, they go deeper in the wood. So. Put a sleeve in. Ready to go. If you use one of these, get you a big box of 5,000 staples because I'm going through staples a lot and I'm only uh, not even halfway done. <laughs> okay so we just finished the hardware cloth around the perimeter on the bottom to help keep predators from digging under i'm hurting back hurts knees hurt i'm hurting bad but we're finally done with this wow so we gotta clean up I'll go take some a leave eat call it a night peace out okay y'all hopefully this is the last update to this long lengthy crazy video so the girls are now 16 weeks old today and they are just loving the coop loving their home um and everything so far has been great the hardware cloth is holding up really really well so i'm super pleased um, i just love how everything turned out and i think all that hard work is paid off so uh, we're super happy with how it turned out so i wanted to go over a few details of the coop that i failed to mention earlier in the video so let's check those out on the nesting box lid i do have a handle that's easy to grab and pick up the lid and then i've installed um, a latch here with what we call a climbing hook um, that way nothing can open it and pry it up it's locked tight so all i have to do is just take this off Open it up like that. There's the girls' nesting boxes. But I've also installed here an eye hook. A hook and an eye. I don't know what you call these things. Here I am trying to do it one-handed with the <coughs> camera. Oh, this is great. All right, there we go. So that way I've got something to hold this up if I have to clean it out, get eggs out, whatever. So I love how this worked out. In the original plans, it actually called for a playhouse window. I skipped that part because I could not find one that was available online to order. It was like $25 or $30. Um, so I said, you know what, let's just keep the piece I cut out 
I'll just hardware cloth it. And if it does get cold, I have the window insert that I can put in on the inside and I'll show you that in a minute. So on my window here, I've got the hardware cloth. I have kept the insert for the window and I just put a handle on it, stuck it up here, and then I can just close off the window if it gets super cold. And then there's a little bit of ventilation at the top. I just, again, keep this up here. Okay, on the door, it was hard to see earlier in the video. I've got um, a latch here. Got my nice handle. And I've got a second lock here. And the roosting bars are where I can actually remove them out. If y'all remember me talking about that. They come out if I want them to. There's the two vents. I've got hardware cloth on those two, just as extra security protection for the girls. Cleanup's easy. Here we are at the main front door here. The ground is higher here, so I have to duck to get in. But I've got a nice sturdy handle here. Again, the same lock. Keep anything, raccoons, anything from fiddling with this lock and open it. I've got a second lock here just like I did on the back door. I've installed this handle and another eye hook on the inside of the door. No! <laughs> they want out. So when I go in, I can close off the door and secure it. And the last feature I wanna talk about is my solar powered motion detector light. Found this at Harbor Freight for like 25 bucks. So far I'm pleased with it. Yes, I've had this longer than two weeks for those of you wondering. Here's the motion detector. I've got it pointing towards the woods over here. The light is pointing this direction. So in case any critters, foxes, coyotes come up, whatever, hopefully this light will deter them. It's not guaranteed, but it does work. It does come on and it reaches about 50 feet. So I'm super pleased with it. There are three settings underneath for sensitivity one is for the time how long you want the light to stay on and then the other one is the sensitivity of the sun and moons and it's LED and this is the solar power panel and it faces west um, I get I get a lot of good Sun that direction so I just screwed it into the wall to the side paneling again I got this at Harbor Freight I have seen these on Amazon and eBay they also come in black, I believe. So, so far I'm super pleased with this. It works, love the light, highly suggest it. I might be getting some more, maybe either out here around the barn, around the house, so I really like it. So this was a long video, but thank you so much for sticking it out with me and watching our progress of building this chicken coop and the run and everything. This has been an adventure for us. Um, so far, so good, and we love it. If you have any comments or any questions on anything about the coop or any tips and advice you can give me, please drop them in the comments below. I would love it. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.